Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. My name is Laura and today we're going to be talking about what's inside Marilyn Monroe's handbag. So I was looking at some online auctions of Marilyn Monroe's estate and I found some photos of some of her vintage handbags for sale and a lot of them showed the items inside and then I was looking at all her different handbags and I started to realize that I have a lot of similar looking vintage ones. I thought it'd be fun to showcase some of my vintage beauty products that I have that are the same ones Marilyn Monroe owned as well as some other ones that would be common in a 1950s handbag. So let's jump right in and see what's inside a Marilyn Monroe's handbag. So the first handbag is a chocolate brown 1950s alligator handbag with an interior stamp that reads I, Magnon and Co. So this is a vintage handbag company. I actually didn't know much about it. The handbag features gold metal hardware and burgundy leather interior with purpose-built pockets to accommodate matching accessories, including a faux tortoise plastic comb, matching leather covered gold metal flint lighter, matching a lipstick case containing an unused lipstick stick in bright red, and a matching leather powder compact with mirror. So I was actually surprised I didn't realize Marilyn Monroe smoked. I don't think I've ever seen pictures of her actually smoking, but I guess it was common back then. So maybe she um, smoked casually, because I think it was more of a social thing. I think a lot of people did smoke in the 50s. And then I was actually interested in the make of her bag. I was looking on Etsy and you can buy a lot of them. So I, Magnon and Company, was a San Francisco, California-based high fashion and specialty goods luxury department store. Over the course of its existence, it expanded across the West into Southern California and the adjoining states of Arizona, Oregon, and Washington. Mary Ann Magnin founded the company in 1876 and named the chain after her husband, Isaac. So I really wanna buy some of these bags on Etsy. I even saw ones that were similar to the one Marilyn Monroe owned. So after I kind of talk about all her bags, I'm gonna showcase some of my vintage bags and the beauty products. So make sure you stay tuned. And the next bag in Marilyn Monroe's collection is a floral garden motif needlepoint purse, complete with detailed letters of provenance from Joe DiMaggio's niece herself. And I was excited about this one because I have a whole bunch of these needlepoint bags and I was really excited to know that Marilyn Monroe also wore them. And she wore this bag when she got married to Joe DiMaggio. If you look at photos of Marilyn Monroe on the day of the wedding, she is not carrying a purse. This is because she would almost always have someone hold her belongings as she made entrances. In fact, it was very hard to ever find a picture of Marilyn carrying a purse at any event, which is true because I was looking a lot and it's, it was rare to find some photos of her wearing a purse. As you know, women always had a purse with them, especially in the era to hold their lipstick, mirror, and female essentials. And her marriage to Joe DiMaggio lasted a total of 274 days and ended in divorce on October 1954. While their marriage may have flamed out, the embers of Joe DiMaggio's love for Monroe continued to burn. DiMaggio famously sent roses to her LA grave several times a week for more than 20 years until his death in 1999. I feel like that's so sweet that he did that. And then there's another bag, and this is a green swirled plastic ladies handbag with a gold metal clasp closure and hardware and a mirror mounted to the inside lid with Willardy stamped on the inside metal frame. And the history of Willardy, so this is another vintage handbag company, which I found very interesting because you can find these ones on Etsy as well. Willardy Originals began in 1946 as handbag specialties. The original offices and factory were in New York and moved to Union City, New Jersey in 1953. And another bag is a confetti box style Lucite ladies handbag with gold metal hardware and interior sticker label that reads Jilly Originals New York. So it was really interesting looking at all these bags and I also have an auction catalog with some of her bags I'm going to show you too. So now let's jump right in and check out some of her handbags. All right let's find out what's in Marilyn Rose handbag. So the first item is this 1950s Lucite Compact with a matching lipstick on the side. And this one is empty and can be refilled. I think that would be a fun project. And I love how it clasps on the side. So one end you can open. And that's for the face powder with the mirror. And the other end is actually for, I believe, those cigarettes. This 
is a really cute 1950s item. I'll also zoom in on them in a bit. And the next item is Marilyn Monroe's favorite face powder. And make sure you check out my other face powder video. And this is Max Factor Cream Puff. And this one is from the 50s with the beautiful design on the top. And she would use this to touch up her face while she was out and about or even at an event. And the next item is another Max Factor item. And this is it's like a little mirror and lipstick combined. So this one's really handy for putting in your purse. And it has a beautiful red shade. Like a little small one. It's a perfect Marilyn red. And this is clear, clear red. And I just love the color of this red. And it's just such a nice little compact design to stick in your purse. And then we got two lipsticks. And these are Marilyn's favorite colors. And as you can see, it really does match. And this is Red Hot Red, which is a beautiful red, similar to some of the Revlon shades. And this one is Carnation Red. It's more of a pinky red. And then we have some Anison, and this is vintage tin from the 1950s. And this is common for temporary relief of headaches and migraine stuff like that it also has a little bit of caffeine in it so marilyn liked these um when she was out and about and had a headache and she's just like keeping this in her purse and then we have the vintage kleenex and this is a lipstick tissue which can come in handy for dabbing your lipstick wiping away mascara liquid nail polish keeping your glasses clean so this is a little handy thing that she likes to keep in her purse now let's have a closer look at some of her products these mini kleenexes are only one cent each and they're really handy for putting in your purse and it's like a little smaller compact one and then here's a closer look at the mini Anison, which are super helpful i actually like these because they have the caffeine and then we got the face powder and then the two lipsticks. And then we got this Max Factor Mini Lipstick and Mirror, which I will open up for you to see. And then also this mini Lucite Compact and Lipstick set. And here's a closer look at her bag. So this is kind of a replica of the one she had. I saw similar ones on Etsy, but I was shocked at how similar my design this vintage one was to the one she had so it's definitely a classic 1950 shape with a little bit of storage inside and a little clasp i think it's super cute i can't remember where i got it i think at a thrift store as you can see all of the lipstick shades are very similar and here is the cream puff and a closer look at it and then we got the an actual vintage lipstick. It's very similar to the colors of the Besame Cosmetics ones. And then we got the face powder here. And that is a look at what would be inside her handbag. And now let's have a look at some of my vintage handbags that are very similar to the Marilyn Monroe's. As you can see, based on a Marilyn Monroe's taste, I have some similar bags, so this vintage one definitely looks like something she would have worn. I believe this one is from the 50s. This is kind of a vintage replica from Teddy Blake, and it's all leather. It's actually a really cute bag. Um, definitely has that 1950s look, and it reminds me of something she would wear. And I was really happy to see that some of my vintage beaded bags look so similar to the ones Marilyn had. Um, I believe a lot of these are from the 1950s. I love the little um, clasp on this one and it has such beautiful detailing. This one as well. And I also saw her wearing little purses like this and these were in the collection at auction. I think this one is a newer one but I could see her wearing that so I just want to show you these ones that definitely remind me of something Marilyn would have also worn. And I was so excited when I saw that Marilyn had some vintage embroidered bags. I feel like this one looks a lot like the one she wore at her wedding with Joe DiMaggio. I think this one's the oldest one that I have. 
This one is more of a modern replica. This one is probably from the 50s too. I love this one, it's such a cute design. And this one's a little bit newer, but they all have a similar theme. And yeah, I was really surprised and excited when I saw Marilyn with that. I'm trying to think which one she would like the best. I feel like this one would look cute on her. And I wanted to show you this book I got and it has the personal property of Marilyn Monroe. And it's from an auction in October, 1999 at Christie's New York. And this book is fabulous if you're a Marilyn fan because they list everything, like all of her possessions including her fashion and jewelry and there's even a section showcasing look at all this like her shoes um even her makeup i feel like she had really good taste she had like so many fabulous little black dresses with lots of fun summer stuff so it's really neat to go through this and look at everything i remember seeing pictures of her in that dress i love that one too and she had a really classic style. I feel like a lot of these items, if you wore them today, I just really don't think you'd be that out of place. Especially a lot of the dresses, like evening gowns. So if you're a Maryland fan, I highly recommend this book. There's just such good stuff in here. And you can also look at her furniture and stuff at the back. It goes into detail like all her homeware, so you can see all her dishes. So there's like so much stuff in here. So if you kind of want to like be inspired by her taste, it's a good place to start because you can look through everything that she basically owned that was at auction. Um, there might be an archive online as well, but I just really enjoyed flipping through this. There's even her lingerie, like so much stuff. This book's massive. Like I, it's been a while really flipping through and looking at all her clothing, accessories. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you want me to look inside any other old Hollywood movie stars' purses. Alright, I'll see you guys again soon. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye!